okay uh, let us now continue with the derivation what we have started so we have completed up to z to 0 we have to now only complete z to 1 and z to 2 so z to 1 is z to 1 1 by 3 1 by 3 z a plus a square z a b plus a z a c z a a plus a square z a b plus z a c plus a square z b a plus z b b square z b a plus z b b plus a square z b a plus a z b b plus z b c a z b b a z b b a z b b plus z b c a square z b a plus a z b b plus a z b c then a z c a plus z c b a z c a plus z c b z c b then a square z c c right a square z c c so it would be 1 by 3 z a a plus a z b b plus a square z c c then plus 1 by 3 a square z a b so 2 by 3 a square z a square z a b plus z b c z b c and Z A C. This is A Z A C. This is Z A Z Z square plus A Z A C. A square Z D B and Z A A plus A square Z D B plus A Z A C. A Z A C. That's why it is creating confusion. Plus A Z. So now a square z a b plus z b c plus a z c a i a square z a b plus z b c plus a z c a z m n z m one. So then therefore I can write down z two one is equal to one z a plus z a z b b and z a square z c c z s one. So it is Z S one plus two Z M one and the last one is Z two two is one by three. Z A A plus A Z A B plus A square Z A C Z A A Z A B square Z A C plus A square Z B A 
zbb square zb plus plus azvc plus azca square zbc ZCC. Red A plus it plus it CC and AZAB plus A square ZAB is minus 1 by 3 ZAB A square ZAC minus ZCA and AZBC A square ZBC So therefore Z22 is equal to Z so minus Z So finally Z012 is given by so with all this so Z so plus Two Z M O Z S two Z M two Z S one minus Z M one Z S one minus Z M one Z S minus Z M O Z S two plus two Z M two Z S two minus Z M two Z S one plus two Z M one Z S O minus Z M so this is the zero sequence impedance matrix. So this is the zero sequence impedance matrix. Now there are some characteristics of it. First of all, this is not symmetrical. This is not at all a symmetrical matrix. So this is a so I can write down some characteristics is not a symmetrical matrix. That is the first thing I can say. Second thing, positive sequence impedance and negative sequence impedances are same. So, positive sequence impedance is Z11 is equal to Z22 is equal to ZSO minus ZMO. So, this is the first observation. Second observation is this. So, that means positive sequence and negative sequence. impedances are same or equal obviously zero sequence impedance is more than the positive sequence and negative sequence impedance right obviously zso plus 2zmo is certainly more than zso minus zmo 
and zero sequence impedance is zero sequence impedance is more than positive and negative sequence impedance and fourth is that all the sequence components are coupled For example, for example, V1 that is the positive sequence voltage would be given by Zs1 minus Zm1 into I0 plus ZSO plus minus ZMO into I1 plus ZS2 plus 2ZM2 into I2. So that means we can see that the positive sequence voltage is being contributed by all these sequence component currents, zero sequence, positive sequence current as well as the negative sequence currents. So that means all these sequence components are coupled. So then therefore, in general, although the, although the impedance matrix in the ABC domain is a symmetrical one, but the sequence impedance is not symmetrical one. However, the positive sequence as well as the negative sequence impedances are same, but the zero sequence impedance is more than the positive sequence as well as, as, well as the negative sequence impedance and lastly all the sequence components are coupled. Now let us see some special case. Now let us see one special case, what happens? Let take an one special case where all the individual self impedances are same Z A A is equal to Z B B is equal to Z C C, say Z M sorry Z Z Z S Z S Z self Z self say say. And let us say that ZAB is equal to ZBC is equal to ZCA is equal to of course ZBA is equal to ZCB is equal to ZAC. Say this is ZM. Say. With this condition, we can simply show by using these expressions, whatever we have so far derived, we can show that ZSO would be given by ZS. We can show ZS1 would is equal to ZM1 would be is equal to ZS2, ZM2 all are 0 and then ZMO is equal to ZM. So then therefore in that case, in that case the Z012 matrix becomes ZS plus 2 Zm 0 0 0 
जेड एस माइनस जेड एम जीरो 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 राइट सो इन दिस वेरी स्पेशल केस वायर ऑल द म्यूचुअल इम्पिडेंसेस आर सेम एंड ऑल द सेल्फ इम्पिडेंसेस आर सेम सो इन दैट केस दिस बिकम्स द zero sequence or rather this becomes the sequence impedance matrix so this is a diagonal matrix that means all sequence components are decoupled from each other decoupled from each other but here also positive sequence z1 is equal to z2 is equal to zs minus zm and z0 is greater than z1 is equal to z2 so this holds good that always the zero sequence impedance is always more than positive sequence and negative sequence impedance and always positive sequence impedance and the negative sequence impedance are same now let us look what happens to the sequence impedances for our case which we have derived in the last to last class now in the last to last class if we do remember that what we derived that our impedance matrix was given by this our for transposed transmission line our z a b c was our s z s then z k 1 z k 2 then z k 1 this we have already derived so we are just recalling z k 1 then s z s then z k 3 it would be z k 2 z k 3 and s z s s is the length of the line and z s is the self impedance that we have already defined right now if i use this matrix z a b c and then if i and with this if we do the calculation so then therefore <coughs> we will find that so here what i have basically z a a is equal to z b b is equal to z c c is equal to s z s and then z a b is equal to z p a is equal to z k 1 z p z a c is equal to z c a is equal to z k 2 z p c is equal to z c b Is equal to Z K three, and Z K one is essentially given was S one into Z one two plus S two into Z two three. We have already defined, so we are not again repeating this. We are just simply writing down the expressions Z K 
2 was given by s1 into z13 plus s2 into z21 plus s3 into z32 and this one is s1 into z23 plus s2 into z31 plus s3 into z12 so these expressions we have already done now if i now apply those formulas of zs0 zm0 zs1 zm1 and zs2 and zm2 if we do these calculations we find the following results we find the results at zso is equal to s zs right and we find that zs1 is equal to 0 zs2 is equal to 0 that i find and zm0 is equal to uh, s by 3 z12 plus z23 plus z31 and zm1 and zm2 is and zm1 and zm2 is something and zm1 is for example zm1 would be zm1 would be zm1 zm1 where is zm1 zm1 is square z a b plus a z c a so if i apply this formula i will get the expression of zm1 right so a square z so for example z b c is basically sorry so z m1 is z b c plus a z c a plus a square z a b so z b c is nothing but uh, z k3 so it was s1 z23 so it is 1 by 3 into s1 z23 plus s2 z31 plus s3 z12 now here also please do recollect that s1 s2 s3 are nothing but the lengths of the different transposed sections right and then we have a z so this is basically z b c and then we have uh, z m 1 is a z c a a z c a a z c a means a into s 1 into z 1 3 so a into s 1 into z 1 3 plus a into to s2 into z21 plus a into s3 into z32 plus i think a square zba a square zab so it would be a square into a square into s1 into z12 plus a square into s2 into z23 plus a square into s3 into z31 unfortunately these expressions cannot be simplified further because if we do even do take common z23 for example i get s1 and then a s3 and then a square s2 these they do not cancel out unless s1 is equal to s2 is equal to s3 so that case we will see later on but here for any general case for a similarly z demands so now for s1 
not equal to S2, not equal to S3, ZM1 and ZM2 cannot be, ZM1 cannot be further simplified, cannot be further simplified. And similar is also the and also uh, similarly also the same case is also in the case of ZM2. So, ZM1 and ZM2 they cannot be further simplified. So, with this result I can now Z012 can be written as basically ZSO plus 2ZMO plus 2ZMO. So, ZSO is given by and 2 ZMO and this is minus ZM2 minus ZM1 then this is minus ZM1 then this is ZSO minus ZMO this is 2 ZM2 then this is minus ZM2 minus ZM2 this is 2 ZM1 and this is ZSO minus here also just for the sake of complex next similar comment for right so this is the z012 again the same thing not symmetrical so it is a not symmetrical so, the observations are Z012 is not symmetrical, right? Then 2 is sequence components are coupled. Are coupled, same comments then 3 is z1 is equal to z2 and 4 is z0 is greater than z1 is equal to z2 all right only thing is that that the off diagonal elements have got little more little more simplified but other than that all these four conclusions which are true for any general sequence impedance matrix are also true. Okay, so now we stop this lecture here. From the next lecture onwards, we will start looking into the other aspects of this topic. Thank you.